Good morning. It's a rainy, warm but rainy morning out here in Pittsburgh, and I'm getting started for work. Our son slept through the night again. It's been going quite well. This is a this is a if this is a trend that's going to stay, we're in good shape. So that's been really good. And as far as how I feel this morning after yesterday's workout, if you joined us for the workout yesterday. Um, Stomach feels good from the sit-ups, totally fine. Maybe a little bit sore, tiny bit. Um, I actually feel fine from doing the 5K on the treadmill. My calves are a little tight, but not bad. Um, but the push-ups, I'm telling you, that's... Oh man, I'm weak. That's what got me. I guess like moving and carrying boxes and doing everything, it was all like lifting, right? It's all like pulling motions. So I've been working those muscles out, but not working the push muscles out. Oh, I'm feeling it, but... I've got a couple early morning meetings after they're over. I'm going to get down and do 10, 10 push-ups between each one, maybe 20 sit-ups between each one, and we're going to do it. So we're getting motivated. Uh, as far as like the treadmill goes, not going to hit the treadmill today. I think I need to let my body recover from yesterday, and then we'll probably hit it again tomorrow. So yeah, we're in it. Are you in it? Just wrapping up. It was a long day but in a very positive and productive way. Got a lot of work done. And on a few of my breaks, I did some push-ups. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so sore. My The sit-ups are easy. I've done like, I think I did 50 of them so far and it was like nothing. So I could easily knock those out. Um, as I said, I'm taking a break from the treadmill since I nearly gave myself cardiac arrest yesterday. And the push-ups though, oh my God, I'm so weak. My arms are sore. My chest in particular up here, oof, it's sore. So I got, a, <laughs> I got a lot of work to do if I want to be able to do 50 in a row without stopping by the end of the month. But I've done 20 of them so far. 30 more to go today. I'll easily complete it. So we'll do a few more in just a minute here. And then, um, yeah, had a chance to talk to Harvey earlier. We really are fully in it for this. It's not just the... Uh, the self health and working out stuff, which is super good. And I'm glad we're doing it, but that's just part of the overall theme, which is like the whole, like better dad or like, you know, be a better man kind of general vibe of what we're doing. And we just both recognize that this is a, a spot that we're super lacking. So besides, um, so we're just going to stay consistent besides the, the push ups and the treadmill and the sit ups right now, there's a lot of other stuff to focus on, especially on his end since he has a brand new newborn. And we'll be talking about those things as we go as well. But um, I'm just excited to be done with work for the day since it was, like I said, it was pretty busy. So let me knock out like 20 more push-ups and 50 more sit-ups. And then I'm done. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to make butter chicken tonight, some Indian food. So we'll see how this goes. Not the nicest looking day of all days, but it's actually warm and feels really good outside. So I'll take a little walk with the dog first. Besides just being men and being fathers, Harvey and I are also husbands. For those of you who want some marital advice, let me explain to you how things work. It's quite simple, actually. So if you've been watching my videos for, I don't know, the last 10 days or so, I you may have remembered I put these shelves together. And when we bought these, one of them, one of the three, was damaged. A new one is on its way to replace it. It was damaged in the box when we opened it. So they said, no problem, they'll replace it. However, even though I usually do a pretty good job, I made a, a critical error here. And I put this one piece backwards without realizing it. And then put these holes that you can see in it by mistake. There's been a week long ongoing discussion on whether or not these holes were noticeable or acceptable. I pled my case for about a week saying, once things are on there and stuff's on the shelf, just kind of push them down. You're never going to notice it. My wife was unsure. The last week of this conversation, in my mind, as a husband, was a complete waste of my own time because do you know what we're doing now? Is we're going back to Ikea to get a replacement because these holes are far, far too noticeable. I knew this from the beginning. I knew this from when I put the holes in there, that this was going to be the conclusion. Why, as a husband, did I decide 
to plead my case that it was okay, I'm not sure. But we continue to learn lessons. I'll see you guys at Ikea. And here we are again. I actually like this store. I've moved so much over the last like 10 years. I've become very accustomed to coming here. I totally got distracted and forgot to film anything inside Ikea because we've come up with this, uh, what do you call it, a conspiracy? Furniture at Ikea is pretty cheap. Furniture prices vary, obviously, but everywhere you go, whether it's Ikea or Home Depot or anywhere that would sell it, outdoor patio furniture is like twice the price what it should be. Like a, one, like a three-piece couch is like $800 at Ikea where you can get a like outdoor couch, like bench thing right yeah. it's like not even a couch not even, nice. not even nice and a normal like full-size couch for your living room is like less and you can't get a deal they're all in cahoots with each other to keep the prices high i'm telling you right now i'm back home at the kitchen but as you can see we went to arby's it got late two for six for chicken sandwiches so not too bad they're pretty good there uh no chick-fil-a we used to be like Chick-fil-A haters, but now we're Chick-fil-A lovers. So I'm here, I'm warming up a bottle for our son, gonna feed him and I I gotta finish my, my push-ups actually. I have a few more to go. I think I have like 10 more push-ups and quite a few more sit-ups, so I need to get on that. Back at the desk where the day began. Today's video is kind of a short one, pretty straightforward. It was one of those days where, how do I say, I was really busy, but I didn't do anything, if that makes sense. I was really busy at work and then we ran to Ikea that took like two hours and then I came home and cleaned up and stuff and we did my parents are coming to visit this weekend which is really nice and we have uh we had to make some space and arrangements for them to be here since we still have some boxes and whatnot so we we kind of finished my son's room which has been half his room half storage right now so we kind of cleaned that up. That took us a few hours. So it was really just like kind of a one thing to the next, but I didn't really do anything too exciting either. So we'll leave it there. I I talked to my brother Harvey a lot about the videos we're doing and, and the type of stuff we've, we've been doing. And our focus is very much on the like better husband, better man kind of thing. And we've been motivating each other a lot. We had a good conversation today about what our goals are and like what the steps are towards those goals. So we kind of had like a March plan, we have an April plan, and then we have May and June. So we're starting to like map out like, how do we get better at this? How do our, how do we make our videos better? How do we make it more interesting? How do we get people involved? And I think it's going really well. So I'm gonna leave it there, overdue for a short video. So I will see you all tomorrow and hopefully I have a more interesting day tomorrow and we'll have a longer video. See you then.